It's your girl, Joy Nichelle Randall, also known as Joy Taught Me. And today I'm going to bring you five supplements that all women can benefit from, men too, of course. Um, but especially women who may deal with the symptoms of PCOS, which is something that I battled with for quite some time, but I want to do a little housekeeping first. So I'm here at Essential Aesthetics and Laser that's based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is where you can actually come and book an appointment with me. I do a little bit of everything beauty, giving organic facials, wash a massage, a little makeup. And uh, we do laser hair removal here. We do tattoo removal. We do um, permanent makeup and just a variety and like so many different things. So definitely check out that website, essentialaestheticsandlaser.com and come see me here in Charlotte. I also have a website that you can sign up for the mailing list and check out my blog. That is thebeautyinfluencer.org. You can also check out my product line, the self-care store. I got a lot going on, you know, so you'll definitely want to stay updated with my content. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done that already to this channel. And so let's go ahead and get into it. So I have a few notes here on my phone because, and let me go ahead and say this, I am not a doctor. I'm just simply sharing the things that work for me and sharing my own journey. Um, I have been able to manage my symptoms of PCOS without any type of real medication. Most of the time they want to put people on metformin, call them pre-diabetic. Um, but there are lots of natural ways that we can um, manage the symptoms. And so some of those symptoms include like irregular hair growth, or it could even be hair loss, um, overactive or inactive thyroid, um, problems losing or gaining weight, um, irregular cycles, different things like that. So, yeah, lots of women uh, deal with this, so don't feel bad if it's something that you do deal with and battle with yourself. Um, so hopefully some of these Supplements can really, really help make your life a lot easier. Um, I know they have for me. So the first one I'm going to start with is vitamin D. Also known as the sunshine supplement because this is a supplement um, that is producing the skin in response to sunlight. So if you're not getting a lot of natural sunlight, um, you may be told that you're vitamin D deficient and they'll prescribe you um, and it's basically a vitamin but it's, it's actually a hormone that our body produces or should be producing itself and so um, vitamin D it fights diseases of course it reduces depression um, and that's the thing you know a lot of people think with emotions that it's always just you know something that we feel but it, they definitely can be connected to imbalances that are going on in our organs and our nervous system. Um, you know, the thyroid is something that produces hormones. When we think of hormones, we automatically think of the way that we feel, right? And so there's that direct connection. Um, so the whole point is that, yeah, vitamin D helps to make sure that something like depression is reduced. Um, that is Actually, another symptom of PCOS is being super, super duper moody. Um, it boosts weight loss. Everybody loves that. And so if you are vitamin D deficient, um, you may be in an area with high pollution. You may be using sunscreen. You may spend a lot of time indoors, especially something like COVID is going on right now. Um, lots of us are inside. Um, and even if we have darker skin, because the higher the levels of melanin, the less vitamin D the skin can absorb. So you can supplement with vitamin D. That is supplement number one. Supplement number two is called DIM. And DIM comes from broccoli, broccoli seeds, actually. 
Um, this has been a real game changer for me when I don't take it. I definitely notice a difference, especially in my skin. Um, I'll start to kind of react more. Um, so it's something that I make sure I take all the time. It says when you eat, and I'm getting this information from healthline.com. So any of you can look it up and, you know, make sure that what I'm saying is, is true. You know, you can support that. Again, I'm not a doctor myself, just sharing the things that work for me. Um, it says when you eat cruciferous vegetables, your stomach acid breaks down a compound to produce what is called DIM. Um, so eat your cruciferous veggies. That's broccoli, that is cauliflower, um, asparagus, anything that, you know, kind of fluffs out um, and is leafy cabbage, things like that. Um, DIM has anti-cancer effects. It protects, also protects against prostate issues. It boosts weight loss. It fights acne, reduces hot flashes, and it relieves PMS symptoms and balances the estrogen. And so, you know, with PCOS, um, we can have imbalance, you know, with estrogen and testosterone. So DIM really, really helps with that, and it is a game changer. The next one is really, really helpful, too. This one is called Shadavari. This one is an Ayurvedic supplement. Um, again, you know, in terms of cycles and having less pain, um, more regularity just in general and just healthier cycles in general, that little supplement right there has really, really, really helped me so, so much. And so if you can find it, you know, it's definitely available on Amazon as well. Um, Definitely, yeah, check it out. Um, a bonus one is ashwagandha. That is also a, and I don't have that one here, but I do take it sometimes. Um, that's also an Ayurvedic um, supplement. Shadavari comes from asparagus. It's a member of the asparagus family. Um, it has antioxidant product antioxidant properties um it helps to prevent free radical cell damage um it battles oxidative stress which causes disease um shadabari is high in saponins i'm just reading what that says but i'm not sure what a saponin is but i know it's good <laughs> because um, I use this stuff myself. You know, it helps to relieve coughs. Um, it boosts the immune system. It helps to treat any type of diarrhea. It also acts as a diuretic. Um, diuretics help your body to get rid of excess fluid. And prescribe for people who have congestive heart failure. Okay, and it helps to treat ulcers. helps to treat kidney stones. It helps to maintain the blood sugar, which is something that, again, Women who deal with PCOS um, really battle with the insulin production. Again, they try to say that they'll often couple that with saying that you're pre-diabetic. You know, again, they struggle to lose weight, um, tend to have more issues with the thyroid. So this supplement helps to really balance the blood sugar. Shatavari. That is supplement number three. And supplement number four is vitamin B complex. Um, the B vitamins are super duper important and it's a combination of them. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types of B, um, vitamins. You know, the benefits are that, um, they benefit the cell health. They help the growth of red blood cells, boost our energy levels, give us good insight eyesight, healthy brain function, good digestion, healthy appetite, cardiovascular health. Um, my mom always, you know, is really on top of this because our family, we have high blood pressure. <clears throat> and so, um, and a lot of women, you know, that's the silent killer, especially with black women, is heart, heart disease and heart attacks. So can't go wrong with um, some B-complex. Definitely women who are pregnant want to make sure they're getting lots of B vitamins. Um, and men, it increases testosterone levels. 
that naturally decrease with age. And they also build muscles and increase strength. So, cannot go wrong with the B vitamins. If you're deficient, here's a few uh, ways to tell. If you have a swollen tongue, if you're fatigued, weakness, irritability or depression, abdominal cramps, scaly skin on the lips, cracks around the mouth, skin rashes. Those are some ways to tell that you may be um, vitamin B deficient. And so the last one I actually don't have here with me because it's in my refrigerator at home. And that is a quality probiotic. If you have followed me for some time, you know that I advocate for having a quality probiotic on hand, taking one daily. That is for your gut health, as my daddy would say, putting the good cooties <laughs> into your stomach so that you're breaking down um, your food properly that um <clears throat> you know we have probiotics we have antibiotics so if you were sick you know you would have a pill that would be killing you know all the bad bacteria and the good bacteria well the good bacteria is what we're putting into the body to make sure that we're breaking down any of this healthy delicious food that we're eating we need to make sure that it's breaking down properly and it gets into our system and into our bloodstream and so can't go wrong with a quality probiotic. Make sure that it is refrigerated. That is the one that you want. That's the one that you need to be getting from the health food store. Nine times out of 10, if it's sitting out, um, those cultures are not activated and um, it's not as great of a quality of probiotic. So go to your refrigerator section at your health food store and grab you one. It's going to cost you anywhere from 20, 25 bucks. I found some on sale the last time. They were $9. So, but I, I, I can't go without them. Cannot go without them. They make a huge difference in your skin. They make a huge difference in just the way that you feel on a daily basis. So, those are the five supplements that I highly recommend for all women. And especially for women who deal with PCO. I hope they help. I really do. Um, make sure to leave a comment. Please like, share, subscribe. You know, share this with somebody you love who may be struggling um, or who may just, you know, be interested on the internal side of self care and always wanting to enhance and make themselves a little better. So I hope it helps. Please let me know if, you, if it does. And follow me on Instagram at joytopme. And I will see you there. Peace.